Pretty much all I've learned from this is that I'm really, really bad at it. Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, today's video is a little bit special, I would like to think, because this is the first video I'm doing with my face actually on it. Um, today I'm doing a sim self create a sim and I decided that maybe this was a good time to show you guys what I look like so you guys could roast my sim making skills in the comments and tell me that this sim doesn't look anything like me. Um, I figured I have to put my face out there at some point and if you have checked out my Twitter or my Instagram or anything like that, you've already seen it, it's not a secret, but I'm really awkward on video so I didn't want to do it for a really long time. I also decided that this would probably be a good time to do a little bit of an introduction and get to know you guys and also you guys can mostly get to know me. So my name is Ali and I am 20 years old and I live in California. Um, you can call me any variation of Bittersweet Sims that you want to, or you can call me Allie if you can remember that. I am autistic and I have a laundry list of other mental illnesses that I sometimes talk about. And my special interest is The Sims. I have over 10,000 hours in this game and I've been playing for 10 years. So some other things about me is I have a brother that just turned 18 and three step siblings as well as step parents on both sides. I am super close with my family even though we do have our ups and downs at times. Um, and they're actually some of the only people I can really tolerate spending time with. Um, I have a husband in New Zealand and we have been together for a few years now and we got married over the summer actually which I talked about in another video. Currently I'm in college and I'm going into social work which is something that I've been really passionate about for a really long time. I am a vegetarian and I'm a vegetarian that avoids animal products as much as I can. I can't resist chocolate or cheese sometimes, but I do try my best. I am also the funniest person in the world, in my opinion, but I know that I'm actually really horrible at making jokes because people can't actually tell I'm joking. Um, I tend to sound really monotone at times and then just laugh randomly and it kind of can be off-putting to people. When I play The Sims, I usually either enjoy complete calm or utter chaos. I kind of have my own versions of a nightmare legacy where everything is absolutely insane at all times, but I also enjoy just playing in a long lifespan or with aging turned off and playing really slow with like one sim, maybe two tops. I love to build in this game and it's truly my passion, but I also enjoy Create a Sim. Gameplay was actually my first love in The Sims and it's something I really enjoyed in The Sims 3 and in The Sims 2 a little bit, but since The Sims 4 I've really started to enjoy building since it got a lot easier and I enjoy modern and industrial dark aesthetics when I'm building. I don't use too much build CC, but I use a lot of Creatisim CC, and I actually have about 12 gigabytes of Creatisim CC. I do enjoy making Creatisim videos and just creating Sims for fun, but truly at the end of the day, I want to build things. On this channel, I'd really love to do anything from Creatisims to builds to even some gameplay. I'm not great at live commentary and I have to edit a lot of things out. But as I practice, I hope to get better at it so I could do something like a let's play or even just real time building. I'd also love to share other content in this game like pack and mod reviews or CC hauls. But most of all, I really just want to try and connect with you guys and build a small little community of Sims lovers. I don't expect much from this channel, but I'm just happy you're here. I hope to be able to post like twice a week but that might get down to once a week depending on how busy I am and what's going on in my life. I'm also like a super perfectionist, so sometimes it can be really hard for me to actually record an entire voiceover or a video because I want to make it perfect and I have to retake things over and over and over and I'm trying to work on just allowing myself to stumble a little bit because for some reason I cannot speak a sentence for the life of me. So to talk about the sim I made a little bit, she is supposed to be a sim self and I wanted to kind of reflect my own physical appearance as much as I possibly could. 
And unfortunately, that made me a little bit self-conscious and I really was tempted to change the way I look because I don't like some of the way I look. But I really wanted to also stay true to how I actually look because I try to remind people that everybody is beautiful in their own way and sometimes I have to remind myself that it's not just everybody else and I know that's something that can be really easy to think is just, you know, everybody else um, is beautiful but, you know, not myself. And I just want to remind you that you are beautiful or handsome or wonderful no matter what you look like. I really wanted to make my nose smaller or my stomach flatter, but that's not what I actually look like. And after I finished creating this sim, I kind of realized that I don't dislike her in any way and she's a cute sim. So whether or not you think she actually looks like me, um, that's for you to decide. But I'm proud of her and I think I did a pretty dang good job. I'm really hoping that you guys will stick around a little bit on this channel and I'd love to know more about you in the comments, whether it's Sims related and you tell me about your favorite CC creators or packs or you just tell me something about you, like your favorite movie or your favorite color. Either way, I love hearing from you guys and you should take care of yourself today, drink some water, and know that I'm proud of you. Bye.